What's up YouTube, Mr. Lama C here, and today we're going to talk about how to beat the hard areas in hell with a shout barb. So this is something that I think a lot of people are interested in, not just for the shout barb, but for any of the characters. So I'm going to try and release this for all characters as I play through and do those let's plays. I will, at the end, come back and kind of highlight each of the difficult areas for the character, and then go through and just kind of talk about the easy ways to beat those areas. So, we can go ahead and jump in, and I'll show you right here what we have. We have a level 71 Barbarian. You can see my stat allocation right here, pretty much all jammed into Vitality, except a little bit into Strength. You can see my skills. I've jammed War Cry, Battle Cry, and Taunt, with a little bit into Battle Orders right there. Um, just a couple points into natural resistance, and then I have a few plus skills. One point into mace mastery, one, 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 one. And then just one point in concentration, one in leap attack. Uh, and this is just for a little bit of help in the future. So, this is the character there. For my gear, I have spirit, lore. Uh, I crafted a plus one bar baby, so I was super happy about that. Another spirit sword, stealth. Some boots I just shot, Ruby Chain Boots of Acceleration, a Dwarf, a String of Ears, uh, a Crafted Coral Ring for some Light Res, and some Mage Fists. So all of this is just self-found by this character alone. On my offhand I have Crush Flange and a Rhyme Shield right there. Um, and having this Crush Flange with a little bit of, or just something with Crushing Blow, Black Rune Word, Crush Flange, Strength Rune Word, something like that is necessary. The charms are just some resistance charms and a little bit of life, maybe, uh, but nothing too crazy. So like I said, all of this has just been self-found by this character. For my mercenary, right now he has insight, um, just some resistance and dexterity, and then a Coldrez helmet. Uh, and so, again, you can see, this is very self-found character, not amazing stuff thrown in everywhere. And then I also crafted him a strength for when we fight bosses. Um, and lastly, I have a Teleport Charges Staff. You can shop this at like Nightmare uh, Drognan or Akara. You can shop it in Normal in Act 3, um, which is where I like to get it. If you watch any of my Let's Plays, you'll see me shop this around level 19 to 23 um, in Normal Act 3 right there. So, from Ormus. So, let us go ahead and discuss some of the areas. Now, this character is not really going to have too much trouble in a lot of areas, which is really nice because he does physical damage, right? So, he doesn't have to worry um, about, you know, a lot of stuff. And additionally, of course, he stuns everything, right? So, he just comes out and he can just stun everything and doesn't have to worry. And he can kill or his Merce can kill, whatever you want. It's very nice for this character. So, some of the areas that you might run into some difficulty with, though, are generally going to be the bosses. So, for instance, let me go ahead and swap this over. We'll put our uh, teleport staff on right now. Impossible. And we can just run and get towards Endariel here. So, for instance, with Endariel uh, and with most of the bosses, the thing that you're really going to want to look for and take note of is, let me check it's not up there, no. Um, the thing you're really gonna wanna look for with that is you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the room cleared, right? You don't wanna have to constantly be fighting minions who are getting resummoned or, you know, anything like that or just having a bunch of, you know, tainted sitting there attacking you while you're trying to fight in Dariel. This is just going to be really, really bad for you um, and you're just gonna have a lot of trouble. So the first thing I like to do is I like to teleport over here, and we have this boss right here, which we can just come over and kill, right? Then I like to kind of check and see is there anything down here, and I don't open this door, and it looks like there's not, but I do want to taunt these minions away, because once again, I don't want Endariel to be spawned yet until I kill all of the stuff. So now that we have everything killed right here, first off, we can give our mercenary um, I can't. his uh, strength. And he'll probably die in this fight, and that's fine. Uh, but I can now come up here and look to get in Dariel. And we can see there's Blessed Aim around her, so there is a boss somewhere up there. 
So I'm just going to try and drag her down here now. And I also like to leave a safety TP. And there we go. And so now what I'm doing is first I'm putting Battle Cry on her. Because that is extremely important. And she's probably going to kill my mercenary it looks like. And that's okay. But from here, first off, if you want to drink some antidote potions just to increase your poison rate as you can. But you're just going to be going through making sure that she has a uh, battle cry on her head and then you're just going to be swinging your crushing blow to hit her right here right and so you can see it just slowly will whittle her down and once she gets low enough you can switch into shouting and you can see shouting does okay right there but you're probably going to want to shout um, a little bit later on right generally the crushing blow for Endariel uh, at least, you know, you want to get her down to like a fourth of her health before you start shouting, something like that. But you can just see the speed at which you are shouting and kind of go from there. So let's swap this over. Now, the next area that you're probably going to find uh, some difficulty is probably going to be Durial. Because um, again, for a lot of these areas, you can just teleport. Uh, I guess I'll go here, since this is where we actually will have um, some stuff. We'll run into some physical immunes. So, what do you do with these physical immunes? Obviously, we can't kill them. You can still stun them. But, of course, the thing to do is just move forward. Stun them. Leap over them. Whatever you want. If you want to kill the other stuff, you totally can. But, don't try and kill them. Just don't worry about it, right? We're just moving on. Move on to the next spot. And, you know, again, you can attack as much as you want or as little as you want. But whenever you run into physical immunes, there's so few that you're actually going to encounter. Um, just avoid them and move forward until you find the summoner. He's not on this path. And then you just kind of continue. So that's, that's how I deal with Arcane Sanctuary physical immunes is just... Leap forward and avoid them, and it's totally fine. Let me grab some gold. Okay. Um, but, uh, like I say, the area you'll probably run into having some issues is Duriel. And I'm not sure I know where Duriel is here. But, essentially, you'll do something similar with Endariel. Now, there's not going to be monsters that you'll clear out, but you're going to use Battle Cry. And then, if you can, make sure that you're tanking Duriel. And what's really nice is when you have Concentrate, he's not going to actually be knocking you back because it's non-interruptible. So you can just stand in there and hit him. And uh, you should be totally fine, assuming that your, your Cold Res isn't terrible. And one way to boost yeah. this up is to just buy a bunch of Thawing Potions. Okay? And then you can chug some. Look at my Cold Res right now. It's 9%. But now, it's 59%. And it will remain 59% for 2 minutes. 2 minutes, 30 seconds. 3 minutes. 3 minutes, 30 seconds. Right? This is going to be true for every potion I drink. 30 more seconds of cold res. Same is true for my mercenary. He has 63 cold res. Thanks. Now, he has a minute and a half of 85% cold res. Okay? So, if you can have that... That is going to be absolutely huge and just do really well for you. Um, now, even though you're going to have cannot be frozen on your rhyme shield, this is super, super helpful. And I always recommend getting a rhyme for that offhand when you're swinging. Uh, it's still going to be, you'll still get frozen or chilled by Duriel um, because he's going to have Holy Freeze, which just has that slow automatically and you can't avoid it. But when you are fighting Duriel, uh, this will make it pretty easy. You just swap into your Crush Flange and Rhyme Shield. Make sure that you always have your Battle Cry up on him. As you can see, my max level Battle Cry, battle cry is minus 47%. It's actually even higher over here. Uh, minus 51% damage and minus 102% defense. So he's going to have no defense and 51% less damage, which means it's just going to be way easier for us to deal with him. Now, the third area that you might run into some difficulty is going to be the Travancle. And for the Travancle, uh, anything kind of out here you can kill off pretty easily, I would say. But when you're actually going up against the Travancle members, what I like to do is use Taunt. Because, again, you can bring them out 
and you can just taunt away any of the non-uniques, and this will just be an easy kill. Right? So now we've killed off two of these guys. And I can go back up, and I can look to taunt another one. And I just want to make sure I'm getting far enough away that I'm not dragging all of the other ones down. Additionally, we saw one of those Travical members was physical immune, so we're just going to ignore him, right? He's not going to be a guy that we want to fight. Instead, we will look to fight another one. Um, so we can see here what we have. And your mercenary may die. You can always give him potions, potions with shift. But yeah, here we have the unique, and so we're going to come way over here. We'll taunt this guy all the way over. And we can just kill another member off, right? So being able to just slowly go and kill one member at a time is really nice. You can also try and just dive in like a madman and kill everything if you really want. So I could just jump in here and say, all right, let's taunt everything close. And let's just start jamming. And this is if you're feeling a little bit more comfortable. You can do it this way. You're probably going to lose your mercenary because, again, mercenaries just die to hydras. And there is a lightning enchant, cold enchant right here. But this will be an easy way to kill off a unique and get that flail. Uh, and once again, once you've killed one of those uniques, you're going to be totally fine. You don't have to go through and kill every single one of them. But, oh, there we go. <laughs> That's what happens with Cold Enchant, Light Enchant. So, not important. We already had everything done um, that we needed for that right there. So, just, you know, stay safer and, and look at the screen instead of looking at your chat um, when you're talking through it. So, uh, still pretty easy right there. So, you can dive bomb if you feel like your res are good enough. Um, but you can also just pull them away nice and easily. And that will also work right there for you and should do okay. Uh, so, that's Trav. Now, Mephisto is going to be the same sort of idea as the other bosses, right? You're just going to kind of go in, kind of drag the stuff away um, that you would be fighting, and then you can go and uh, just fight Mephisto straight up, and it shouldn't be too terrible. Make sure you use Battle Cry. If you want to drink some more cold res, you can totally do that um, to help out there as well. The fourth place that you may have trouble with this character is going to be the Chaos Sanctuary. Uh, and for the Chaos Sanctuary, I'm just going to teleport in right now. Just to make it a little easier. So you can always just do a quick tally in if you want to avoid all the stuff going into it. Um, but the big thing is, honestly, having good resistances. You can see my res aren't even amazing, but they're okay. And this is going to be helpful, of course, uh, just for some tanking some of that like fire and stuff, but you can still see that even with just some basic shouts, um, you can be in a good spot. And the biggest thing is really going to be taking your time, pacing yourself so that you're not going too crazy. Let me get my mercenary as well, he'll help out a tiny bit. So not like running into, uh, you know, five billion things, but also being aware of what you're trying to fight there and what's kind of super dangerous to you, right? So, for instance, all this down here, I want to kind of come over here, but I want to be able to, and I can always taunt whatever I want. Taunt this stuff away. And now I can get in on the Oblivion Knights and stun them as well, so they're not really hitting a lot. I can go up and save my Mercenary. But you have to remember that you have a uh, six-second stun right here, right? So you can always run around and stun everything that you want before you get into the point where you're going to start doing the damage. Right? Can come back here. And again, having a little fire res. And I can try and taunt some guys around. Just to bring them in closer so that they're getting stunned. And again, this character is just super capable of doing a lot of areas because not only is he doing physical damage which doesn't run into many immunities but he is also going to be um, just extremely 
strong in himself, has good damage, has good life, and, of course, has those stuns, which is super helpful. So, if you do run into a physical immune boss, uh, my best suggestion is to just leave the game and come back in and then go back into the Chaos Sanctuary. If you do want to kill it, you can maybe see if your mercenary has, like, some, some damage that he can use for that to help out. But... And again, you can see I kind of use taunting right here to really abuse the AI and just keep them off of my mercenary and stuff. And then I can come over there and do all of that. So this is just going to continue through the rest of the Chaos Sanctuary where you can just rinse and repeat doing all of that. Now, the next place that you may have some issues is Ancients. Ancients can be difficult for many uh, characters in this game. And understandably so, as there is, uh, you know, the, the three ancients can just be a, a pain to deal with, and a lot of people struggle on them with any character, honestly. They're always going to roll at least one resistance, um, which is annoying, and sometimes multiple resistances, sometimes multiple other things, and it can just be a big pain. So there's a few things to note about what you're looking for. And what I mean by what you're looking for is you're going to actually be doing a little bit of bouncing back and forth. So the first thing I suppose that we should do is let's go ahead and give our mercenary strength. And we will go here. And you can drop potions on the ground. So if you're feeling like, I don't know if I'm going to have enough potions, I have enough room, whatever it is, I can literally go here and just drop potions on the ground, then go back, buy more potions, come back out here. I can even just pop my belt to pop all those ones on the ground since I have no space in my inventory. And you can just fill up the ground with potions. And this is a great way to just have extra safety. Now, they will expire after 10 minutes. So, you do have to be a little bit careful um, with that in mind, right? Just kind of notice that if you don't touch them after, I think it's 10 minutes, um, they'll start to disappear. So, what you can do is halfway through the fight, you can go over and you can juggle them essentially, right? You can like put the ones in your inventory on the ground and then pick those up. And then the new, those ones on the ground will be 10 minutes right there and blah, blah, blah. So, you can reset the timers by doing that. Um, but... When you're spawning these ancients, there's a few things that you want to look for. One, we don't want anything with stone skin. Because we do physical damage, stone skin is just going to be absolutely brutal for us uh, and take forever. Two, I don't want anything like Might Aura, uh, Fanaticism Aura. That usually is just really brutal and really killer. Extra fast can be okay, though if you get a Talik who's extra fast, sometimes that can be a little bit scary. So... That's one that sometimes it's like, uh, maybe don't do an extra fast Talik. Um, though it can be helpful to separate them by having one be extra fast. So it's not the worst thing. Be careful of anything that's going to be like lightning enchanted, fire enchanted, cold enchanted, things like that. When they're dual enchanted stacks. I personally just hate lightning enchanted by itself anyways. But when you have all of them kind of stacked together, the damage can get really nasty. Um, and then sometimes be careful of like a Maddox who's extra strong or something because he's going to one shot your mercenary sometimes and do a ton of damage to you as well. So really when you're rolling, you love to see stuff that's just like teleport, magic resistant, maybe, you know, one is fire enchanted, um, you know, just kind of some of the basics, maybe like Korlik is extra fast, uh, maybe there's like conviction aura. Or, you know, Blessed Aim. So it's like not the worst auras. Um, that sort of stuff. And what you can always do is just have your, your time po portals. And just look and say, okay. He had Holy Fire. I wasn't really feeling it. Also, Cursed. I'm not a huge fan of Cursed. Though if you can get Cursed on maybe one of them, it's not the worst thing. We'll take the Curse off. And you can come out here again and look. And uh, he's got that holy fire aura. Don't really like it. Fire enchant, extra fast. Fire enchant, cursed. Mana burn also isn't terrible right now. Um, though that had the curse again, which I wasn't a big uh, person who enjoyed it. Fire enchant, extra fast. Magic res. Lightning enchanted, cursed. 
So I didn't like the Lightning Enchanted Curse. The other two, I actually didn't mind their stats. And your Mercenary may die here. And honestly, you can do this without your Mercenary as well. Um, it just kind of depends how safe you're feeling. Stone Skin. We don't want any Stone Skin, so we have to say no to that. Curse, Spectral Hit, Stone Skin. Extra Fast Cursed. And he curses us again. Make sure you don't run out of portals. Good afternoon. So this is a big part of doing the Ancients, is re-rolling them just to get something that is not horrible. Curse, Stone Skin. Don't like either of those. Magic Rest, Cold Enchant, Aura, Teleport. Okay, perfect. So this right here is not horrible. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look to separate them off. So you can see that, okay, now we've got Korlik on his own. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and this. I'm going to lower him down and, oh no. It didn't quite work. Okay, Jamali's going to probably die. It seems like. Let's see what he's got dragged behind him. He has all three. Yeah, he's gonna die. How is he not dead? I can't. Okay, so again, we really want to try and separate them off. Because fighting them one on one is just going to be so much better. And sometimes your mercenary is just gonna be a pain. So what you really want to do is just try and drag them in slowly. Thanks. Right, so I'm just going to slowly move up and then come back. And see if we can just get one in for fight. And there we go. We have Madoc over here. And so now we've got him with Battle Cry. And now we can go here. And so I'm just making sure that he has Battle Cry on. And I'm just going to go through. I'm going to watch my Mercenary's health, watch my own health. Feed him potions with shift. And I can always step in the way as well to take the hits instead. So you can see now he's hitting me instead of my mercenary. Which I kind of like more because it's not hurting me too much. And you can very easily just go through and kill Maddox. And Maddox going to be probably the hardest one to kill um, initially because he's going to have his shouts on. Which just make him a little bit harder. He has shout and it just makes it... He has higher defense so he's a little bit harder to hit. But whenever you're ready as well, you can just start shouting him down. And you can actually stun him as well with that. And the nice thing about Madoc is... He is easier to shout and do more damage to. So we'll kill him. And then we'll do the same thing with the next one. We've got Korlik right there. Make sure we have this on. And again, just do the same exact thing. Make sure we have Battle Cry. And we can go through and just very easily bring Korlik down. And you can see without him having Shout, we hit him so much faster, so much easier. And this is just no problem whatsoever, right? Super easy. And again, when he's low enough, you can just shout him to finish him off. And of course, it can always keep him stunned with that as well. And hey, we can always replenish our potions right here. And now we have our final guy. Let's make sure we get this off. Be careful. But you can see having minus 51% damage just does so much and lowering his defense just does so much that now we can just easily double team him. No problem whatsoever. And again, this is just too easy. Make sure you just keep it on. He's not going to kill you. And it's also because once again, we rolled, you know, magic res, cold enchant. That's just not a dangerous combination, right? So this is why we, we waited till we rolled what we liked for those specs. And you can see, even without our mercenary, we still would have been fine here. Impossible. Yeah, the mercenary helps a little bit. But if I went and just spawned all of them myself, 
it still would have been easy enough. So that's the Ancients. I can't. Again, uh, I can't. super kind of simple right there. Let's just do this. Pick up our Rhyme Shield. And then you can move forward to the Throne of Destruction, which is probably going to be the final spot that you may have some difficulty for this character. And yes, that minus damage comes from Battle Cry, which you can see right there, which you just max out because it is one of the um, synergies for War Cry, anyways, on this character. Oops, I actually want to go the, to the waypoint. And so the last thing that you might have some difficulty with would be Bale Waves themselves. Um, So we can just rush over there really quickly. So you always have to be careful of what you spawn in here. But again, we do have the ability to stun everything, which is really nice. So that makes it way easier. I'm actually going to put the insight back on my mercenary. Just so we can get our mana gain back. As that does help us out. So you can go in and clear the throne pretty easily. And you actually can stand in and tank a lot of the stuff as well from the waves, if you would like. Um, or you can drag and, and kind of kill them from afar. So I'll go ahead and show both of those, right? So we've got this done right here. Now the first thing that you can do is you can stand back here. And when stuff gets summoned, you can just drag it all down here away from where it's going to get uh, revived so you're not constantly dealing with him reviving all of that and we'll just drag it down here and then we can go up and fight Colenzo alone but again since we do have stuns it's not too horrible so you can do that with any of those waves um, by just taunting them down which is the, the nice and kind of simple thing that being said because you do have a stun, this character can also stay up in here and just fight everything as such. And again, you can taunt whatever you need to pull it in closer so that it can get within your stun range. And you can kill everything purely by standing in there. All right. Now we do want to get the poison off, as that poison can be pretty nasty. But again. And we actually ran into a dual enchant, so this is a perfect example of maybe a place that we want to bring a couple guys down here instead first. As lightning cold enchant, uh, again, is, is very buggy. And can be an issue, so we can drag them down here Impossible. and kind of face off with them one on one instead, and then we'll deal with. Oof, Bartuk, just a little bit later. And even if we really don't want to fight him, we can always drag him outside. Now our outside is still uh, not cleared, so that does make it a little bit difficult, but. Um, we can, we can bring them down here if we really want. And you can always do what's called drag strategies. Where you just drag everything away, essentially. And so we can come up here and we can grab him. And bring him all the way down. Have him come and join us outside. We'll drag you up. And like, he's someone that we can kill, but we just have to make sure we go down when we have a lot of life. And try and stand somewhere if we can. Where he's not going to be hitting us with those charged bolts. Because again, he is the multi-enchanted and that just is absolutely brutal. So he is something that I would recommend killing uh, prior to... And just come in here prior to wave five. Not 
But, again, that's just uh, because wave 5 is super annoying, and you're probably not going to want to kill wave 5. But you can see. I mean, actually, eh, you, you're probably fine killing wave 5 with this character. So we'll kill wave 4 real fast. Then we'll go back, get our mercenary, and kill wave 5. And then bail will just be the exact same as the other uh, characters. Where it's just going to be slow and steady, lower his defense, and then just, you know, have your crushing blow, hit him down, and then when he's very low, then you can kill him from there. But, the beautiful thing about this character is, well, this. Even wave five is no match for the Shout Barbarian. So while you cannot taunt these mobs, you can stun them. And of course you can even stun Lister and you can see he's not always stunned. Sometimes he'll be stunned, sometimes not. Um, so you sometimes will stun uniques, but it's not a guarantee. But, you can very easily power through and kill off the waves. So actually not a character, not a, a terrible character um, for kind of playing through. And that really is kind of this character playing through all of the difficult spots. Like I say, Bale's not really going to be difficult. He's just going to be, you know, mildly annoying. But... You just get up there, use your battle cry on him, and then just, uh, you know, hit him with this over and over again. And you'll lower him down and eventually kill him. We don't need to do that fight. It's pretty simple and basic. Um, but that is how to get through the difficult areas uh, of hell with a shout barbarian. If you'd like to see this with more characters, I'd love to know which character you'd like to see next as well. Um, but hopefully this has been helpful and it just kind of highlights taking a shout barb and where you're going to find those really tricky spots. Additionally, if there are some other tricky spots that you still have, feel free to leave comments down below. I can try to answer some and maybe some other people can also answer as well of how they get through it. But I'll tell you a lot of times the answer is just go past it. Just leap forward. Just teleport past it. If you run into a lot of physical immunes, just ignore them and move to the next spot. You have the ability to stun all of them so you can stun them and then just move on. And that really is a beautiful part about this character and why he's one of my favorite barbarian characters. Um, with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace, YouTube.